My name is Edward Bilo. Uh, I'm a city councilman, and uh, I was in Vietnam back in the 60s. Too young to be there, but I was there. I can't tell you about what I did over there, but it, it was, I had PTSD when I came back. And I went to Fort Lyon, and most of the other veterans that I was with there were smoking pot. And I couldn't be any different. If it weren't for that pot, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> But I found out that having this connectivity, I, I like that word, that was my word too. You have to have good people out in the community to help you talk and make you feel valued. Because I'll tell you, when I came back from Vietnam, I was at SeaTac International Airport, and I got It was very traumatic. I got spit on, and uh, I just couldn't believe the things that we were going through. But when I got back, I went to Fort Lyon, got some quick uh, rehab, and uh, the rehab was because Fort Lyon was open. Maybe we should consider reopening it without taking away the current Southeast resources that we have. But uh, this, is, this is all pretty difficult for me to talk to, but uh, I think uh, what I'm seeing, I had good support when I went to OJC later on, and I had good support in the other organizations that I was in. Connectivity with everything in the community really counts a lot. Because today, what do you see? Nothing wrong with this, but women have taken over Rotary Club. I remember Rotary Club when I graduated. It's, uh, it was all men. <laughs> and uh, now it's all women, which I'm very happy about. Otherwise, Rotary Club would have disappeared. <laughs> but you know your, your Lions Club, your Kiwanis Club, and all these other civic organizations, they should be uh, well attended and they never should have died. But these veterans that come back and these people that have mental health problems, they should very much get into a community service organization. Because the connectivity, the interaction you have with people makes you feel valued. It did for me because I got into everything growing up after I had uh, all my uh, good friends and good teachers at the college. Uh, they did wonders just talking. And uh, I used to work at NIPCO, and some of the uh, old guys there, World War II vets, they helped me through it too. That was connectivity that we had. So we got to look at, it, for the mental health people, going back and making a connection with your faith. I don't care what church you go to. If you don't like it, you can go form your own church and get a bunch of people to go there because back then uh, uh, in, in my day there was a few people I mean there was only a few churches that you could go to but now you've got a whole millennia full of teachers I mean of churches that you can connect with and people stay dedicated to them there's nothing wrong with some of that going on too so uh, I really believe that uh, these organizations going through uh, 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 recruitment, because I know I'm still in some of them, and <coughs> it's hard to get people to really get in there and get active, because you got STP, same two people doing the same work <laughs> of a whole group, and it shouldn't be that way. It should be dedicated. I mean, I always used to look forward to uh, I think it was Kiwanis Club that used to do the pancake breakfast in the morning. Maybe in some other committee, uh, cities they do it, but get connected. Good thing and open up Fort Lyon again. <laughs>